So to complete the SDS lab, the first thing you want to do is read the handout thoroughly. So there's a link here that you can open up that handout with, and then there is also, you can see that, and then also in the module itself for SDS, there's a link for the lab sheet. And you don't have to print that out, but you do have to read it. And then after you read that, you are going to be required to pull up three different SDSs, and the links are here in the module as well as um, in the handout itself. Um, and you have to use these links. You cannot use any other SDS that you find on the internet, so be sure to use these particular links. And again, you don't need to print them, but you do need to access them to answer the questions for the lab report quiz. So um, for this lab, your lab report is actually going to be a quiz. And so when you're ready to take that quiz after you have read the SDS lab, after you have um, pulled up those three SDSs, then you can take the lab report quiz. Um, you may not use any other resource to answer the questions in the lab report quiz. You can only use the information that's on the SDS lab as well as the information that you find on these three SDSs of sodium hydroxide, hydrochloric acid, and zinc. Um, you can't give or receive assistance. As I said, you cannot use any other resource, so you can't look up answers on the internet unless they're from the SDSs that you've already pulled up. And if you have any questions or run into any problems, message me immediately. There's no time limit on this, but it is due Tuesday, April 14th. You want to give yourself enough time to complete it. There are 16 questions, which are multiple choice and matching. And then for this lab, you also have a discussion board. And this will count as a lab grade. It's also due April 14th at 11.59. So if you have any questions about completing the quiz or the discussion board, just let me know.